Congresswoman Elise Stefanik, one of the top Republicans in the House, is making the media rounds to attack the January 6th committee. Stefanik has seen her star rise as she's embraced Donald Trump at the expense of fellow female Republican Liz Cheney, who is one of those leading the charge to investigate the former commander-in-chief. Washington reporter Kevin Fry joins us now with a closer look. Good evening, Kevin. Hey, yeah, good evening, Bobby. These two could have at one point been seen as somewhat of political allies within the GOP, two very prominent female Republicans, but now their paths have gone in very divergent directions. A select committee to investigate. The With the January 6th committee hearings underway, number three, House Republican Elise Stefanik has launched her own counter-programming. This is a partisan political witch hunt. It truly is a political circus. It will do nothing to ensure that the Capitol is more secure in the future. The New York Congresswoman and fierce Donald Trump ally appearing repeatedly on conservative TV and radio outlets, bashing the panel's investigation into the Capitol attack. This is not a serious investigation. This is a partisan political witch hunt. The January 6th committee does include two Republicans. One of them, ironically enough, is Congresswoman Liz Cheney the very woman Stefanik replaced in House GOP leadership last year. The two were not always fiercely at odds. As recently as 2019, Stefanik praised Cheney as a huge asset as House GOP conference chair. But since the 2020 election, the two have taken dramatically different paths. Cheney became one of former President Donald Trump's most outspoken Republican critics, voting to impeach him, leading to her fall from GOP leadership. I say this to my Republican colleagues who are defending the indefensible. There will come a day when Donald Trump is gone, but your dishonor will remain. While Stefanik staunchly defended Trump, even refusing to certify electoral votes for Joe Biden, helping fuel her rise to power. New York Democrat Kathleen Rice, who joined Congress at the same time as Stefanik, says she no longer recognizes the lawmaker whom she says once showed a willingness to reach across the aisle. She has turned into um, a mouthpiece for Donald Trump. Uh, I've never seen an evolution quite like that. So I, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know what happened. Um, some people would point to just rank personal and professional ambition. Um, I don't know. Former Republican Congressman Tom Reed calls the cheney stefanik split a sign of the times within the GOP. I do obviously have a strong voice in the uh, Trump influence, the MAGA influence um, of the party, but then you also have folks that are you know, voting their conscience. Now, I did reach out to Stefanik's team about a potential interview about the January 6th investigation and the various hearings. They did not make her available uh, to me this week. This is, of course, not her first time going to bat for the former president of the United States. She was one of his fiercest defenders during the first impeachment proceedings. And just within the last uh, few months, she came out and said that she is proudly ultra MAGA. Bobby? So, Kevin, talk a little bit about uh, what Stefanik's place is in the New York uh, Republican constellation. I mean, have we seen her star rise among the uh, within the Republican Party here in New York State, or is it a little bit more of a divided picture there? Uh, well, look, I mean, she has certainly risen on the national stage here in Washington, becoming number three in the House, and then she could be poised to get a different position if and when the Republicans take over on Capitol Hill. Within the New York uh, Republican Party, she is part of some skirmishes, it seems, in some of those western congressional districts about who should be backing and who should be running in those particular seats. Uh, so there is uh, certainly uh, momentum here in Washington, and certainly she has risen in her stature back home, too. Kevin Fry, thank you so much for that report. It's time now for a